Hi everybody, it's Breezy Bree Commentary. <laughs> I may change the name. This is my very first YouTube video. In fact, this is the second take I've done of this. I'm just trying to, some things, hoping that it works out. I have been excited about doing this for you all. I will be doing, or actually I will be commenting on the Real Housewives franchises. I have been watching them for years, since 2007. And tonight I'm going to be doing The Real Housewives of Orange County. So let's go, let's get into it. Um, so, in their last episode, I, and I'm going to be looking down because, just because I had to write down a lot of the information, and I'm going to be looking down a lot. And so, it starts out that, um, well, Jim Bellino and Tamara are involved in a major lawsuit. And it has occurred because in an episode some years ago, Tamara made a comment about Jim Bellino. Jim Bellino is the husband to Alexis, who used to be on The Real Housewives of Orange County. She's no longer on there, even though they showed her this year meeting with Emily. She and Emily are friends. So Jim and Tamara are in this lawsuit and it's it's not a good lawsuit. It's a million, it's millions of dollars. And, and Tamara is losing, it sounds like. She made some comments about him some years ago. And he's suing her for it. And it looks like he's winning. And I think Shannon is somehow involved in it. But has recently been removed from the lawsuit. I'm not sure. So that's what's going on there. So we, Tamara... You know, in her opening, she talks about faith, family, and fitness. Those are the three F's for her, faith, family, and fitness. And I, I think that um, I know that this is a show where it requires a lot of, you know, going back and forth between the women. But when you talk about faith being part of your character, she probably needs to work on that to some degree. So it starts out with Kelly and Bronwyn. They are out to lunch. And Bronwyn has met up with Kelly to invite her to a Miami trip that she has planned for the girls. Kelly, in her boisterous tone, tells her she doesn't want to go because she doesn't want to have to deal with Vicky and Tamara. And so Bronwyn tells Kelly, look, you don't have to deal with them. Just stay away from them. You know, just don't have any contact with them. And Kelly says she's tried to have, uh, tried to stay away from them, but it hasn't been successful for her. When the reality is, I think we all know, she hasn't really tried to stay away from them. If she did that, then she couldn't be on the show. They would ice her out and she wouldn't be on the show. So I think that, um, and the thing she's upset about, you know, if it doesn't apply to you, why are you so upset about it? You know, I, I just, I don't get that. She's really upset about every little thing too. And again, forgive me for looking down, but I don't have my glasses on. In the last, in the last video that I pre-taped, I put on my glasses and they were causing all kinds of glares. So I don't have them on. So I'm having to look down and see what my next step is. And, and talk to you about it. Um, so, let's see here. Oh, I wanted to mention Bronwyn showed up. She had no makeup on and she looked really good without makeup. She, she did, really doesn't need it at all. Um, I love Kelly's attire. She had on this black and white with her shoulders showing. She had, Kelly has really good taste in clothes. I like her fashion. So she tells Kelly, she, t she tells Bronwyn she doesn't want to go. At the end, Bron Bronwyn does talk her into going. So as it ends up, Kelly will be on the Miami trip. Next, it goes over to, Kel to uh, Tamara and Gina. They are in a clothing store. They're shopping. And they start out talking about Kelly 
and Tamara tells Gina that she has not talked to Kelly in three weeks. And I guess that's a long time for the two of them. She hasn't talked to her in three weeks. And so she also tells, oh God, what's her name? I'm so sorry. What's her name? Gina. <laughs> she tells Gina, she doesn't know why Kelly um, suddenly flipped out. She said that Kelly was impulsive and that she doesn't think and that um, she's just really impulsive and she didn't understand why she flipped out. Well, I know why she flipped out. That's just Kelly's personality. That's what she does. She flips out about everything. And so I don't know why Tamara was so surprised. It really does not take much for Kelly to flip out. Kelly has some anger issues and even her daughter has noticed them. I guess her daughter watches the show and she sees how she treats her friends. And she asks her mom, why is she always angry at Tamara or angry period? And so I, I think that Kelly, Kelly doesn't know herself. Kelly needs to really take a really good look in the mirror so that she can ask herself, why does she flip out? Why is she doing these things? Because she needs to make some changes. And in one of the episodes, as you recall, she hit Shannon over the head with something. And I know it was a very light hit. Grown women don't do that. We, uh, we don't put our hands on each other like that, hitting each other. And that is just something is she needs to really get some things under control there um, because it's not adding up in terms of her being an adult, being a mother, and you know, it just is not adding up. So um, next uh, we have Shannon. Shannon and David are finally divorced. And let's see, uh, David has sent Shannon an email or Andy also told her in court that he is proud of her. And that was something that she longed to hear when they were married. Um, these people, when they're married this many years and they long to hear this one phrase from their husband and finally he divorces them and they hear it, I guess because I don't know what that feels like, there's more going on than you just wanted to hear him say that he's proud of you. There, there had to be a lot more going on there. And of course, he's proud of you now. He wants you to move on, Shannon. He wants to move on. He wants you to move on. He has him a chick. Um, the men always get the chick. I don't know why it ends up that way. It takes women longer most of the time to find a significant other after a divorce. The men always have someone on the side. And women are so trifling that they're open up to it. So whatever. <laughs> um, so she, she longed to hear that. They show some clips between... Her and David, uh, when he proposed to her, when they had their wedding again, they got remarried, hoping that would make it work. Listen, if your current marriage is not working, remarrying them is not going to make it better. Having that ceremony again is not going to make it better. Everyone I know, and I know people in real life who have had to get remarried and they get divorced less than a year later after the remarriage. So if you're married, and you're just getting married over and over again each year. You only need one marriage. You don't need that many marriages. I digress. <laughs> so, so next we have the show in Vicky's place. So the ladies have been invited to Vicky's house for an engagement announcement. They don't know this yet, but Vicky is going to surprise them with this beautiful ring that Steve has bought her. So they start to come into her house. Emily is the first one to arrive. Emily looks amazing. She looks so beautiful. I just think she's so gorgeous and I love her hair and she's lost weight. You can tell she's lost the weight. So she's arrived. Then Gina comes in um, and then Tamara. And forgive me, you guys, my eyes are watering. I don't know why my eyes are watering. Um, I got a new set of glasses and I took them off. I, I don't know. I think they're causing me all kinds of issues, actually. I digress again. So the ladies come over. They go out into the backyard. Uh, and not yard, but this back setting that 
Vicky has. Actually, it's a scene because it's beautiful and there's a fire that's lit there in the center and they're sitting, you know, on the sofas out back and Vicky shows her ring and uh, Gina just goes crazy. She's like, oh, you're gonna, you know, oh, I'm so excited, blah, 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 right? And I just think it's overrated. I mean, it might not be to most people, but I just thought her excitement was a little overrated or a little animated, maybe for the show, maybe just, I don't know, for Vicky. At any rate, she's excited about it, and Vicky starts telling them about Steve's proposal. And it's a beautiful ring. It's a big rock. I wonder what Steve does for a living. I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, so they start talking about the engagement and then in walks Shannon of course and Shannon kind of puts a slight damper on things because she walks in talking about her divorce and in my mind I'm thinking okay do we have to make it about you again Shannon okay Vicky is celebrating her engagement to her man and you walk in talking about your divorce and you're almost in tears about it could we leave the tears behind just for this moment you know so anyway they talk about it. She tells them how um, how her husband, her, her ex-husband, has told her that he's proud of her and how that made her feel. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so Vicky takes the ladies into the kitchen. They get something to eat. They come back out. And did you guys see what Tamara and Shannon were eating? I mean, it literally looked like they were eating leaves. And I hope those leaves had some kind of dressing on them because it just looked like a bowl of leaves. Um, so the other ladies, their plates looked really filling. And when I'm watching these housewives and they're eating and drinking, I get hungry and I want to eat and I want to drink. So usually when I'm watching them, I have to have me something to eat and I have to have me something to drink. So anyway, let's see if I can read this next step here. Um... Mm -hmm. I love Vicky's exterior. I think I, I told you that. I love how her house is on the outside that set up. Let's see. And I'm sorry I have my head down when I'm talking. <laughs> but this is my first video. And please click the thumbs up button. And also click subscribe. And click the bell so that you'll get notifications. Okay? Just because it's my first video, normally I wouldn't... Uh, say do it if you didn't want to do it but even if you don't want to do it do it just because it's my first video and let's see here so Bronwyn and Sean the cameras go back to Bronwyn and Sean preparing for the Miami vacation because Bronwyn has prepared this vacation for them and Sean is talking and he says that he doesn't understand why the ladies can't just laugh and enjoy themselves uh, why do they always have to have all this animosity? It, you know, Sean is like, why are they even hanging out? You know, uh, they always have these debates. So, um, I guess he can, he, he shouldn't sit still for that. That's not going to happen. That's how they make their money. So, uh, Bronwyn is talking to him and uh, he makes the comment, you know, they argue so much that, you know, it's, it's like a married couple. I mean, they argue, they make up, they argue. And then Bronwyn makes the comment, oh, yeah, because whenever we argue, we always make up and through sex. And after that, we're good. And uh, he says something and then she makes reference to Tamara in a sexual way. And I just find that kind of unnecessary. I mean, she's married. I guess you guys can tell I keep mentioning certain things. I think it's okay to have high moral standards. But anyway, I digress. She is married to her husband and to even think about bringing someone else in the midst is too messy. It's too messy and I just don't know why, why she's bringing that up and why she's so interested in Tamara that way. It's, anyway, um... So they start having flashbacks um, about, you know, different things. And um, it goes back to the setting at Vicky's house again. And this time, Brianna 
Vicky's children are there, Brianna and her husband, and also Michael, who is Vicky's son, who has really grown up to be very, very handsome. I remember him back in the day. Okay, so he is really good looking, and he looks like a businessman now. Uh, he just looks so different. So they're there, and Brianna looks good as well, and she lives in my state. North Carolina, I can't, you know, she lives in North Carolina, so North Carolina is working wonders for her because she's lost weight. She looks really great as well. And so they are sitting there and they are, you know, enjoying Vicky's engagement as well. And Steve is there. And Vicky looks at Steve and she says, so when is our wedding date? And I'm sitting there going, that's something that the two of you should have discussed when you put the ring on your hand. Whenever men put a ring on your finger, you should have already have discussed the date or you discuss, you know, you say the date right then and there. That's what I think. I mean, this thing about putting a ring on the finger and then you got to wait to prepare for a date, you should pretty much know the date that you want to get married and then put it out there. But she's asking it in front of friends and, you know, Anyway, I just, I would not have done that. I would, that would have been a private conversation. Even if he didn't, even if you didn't already have the date, that would have been a private conversation for me. So, uh, Vicky leaves, Vicky and Steve, they get up and they go back into the house and Tamara and Brianna are left outside and they are communicating about Vicky's progress, um, in her relationship with Steve and just, how they're so happy, you know, that she's no longer with Bruce. And I guess you guys remember Bruce. That was Vicky's man who um, portrayed to have cancer. And I think it was later on, allegedly, that he did not have the cancer or something like that. At any rate, Brianna says she doesn't think that Vicky ever really loved Bruce and that it was all physical. I disagree with that. I think she really loved Bruce and the physical was just an additive. The reason she broke up with Bruce is because she is very family oriented and she loves her friends and she likes to be supported by them in whatever she does. And I think she tried to prolong that relationship, hoping that everyone would turn over a new leaf and accept Bruce. And when she saw it wasn't happening, she had to get out. Um, especially when it came to her kids. It just wasn't happening. So I disagree with Brianna on that. Next we have, oh, Bronwyn and Sean have arrived in Miami and they are making arrangements to get everything situated for the ladies to arrive. So the conversation, then it goes back to the conversation. It goes back to Shannon's house. Forgive me again for looking down. Uh, it is my first video and you are probably going to be tired of me saying that, but I keep looking down. I'll be a little more organized in my second video because now I know what it's going to take. So Shannon, it goes back to Shannon and her daughters and they have a conversation that is really quite uncomfortable for me because Shannon is talking to them about the trip to Miami they're saying to her, uh, and she's saying to them, you know, I'm going to go to a club, you know, and all of these things. And her daughters say to her, while you're there, get something to go between your legs. Now, I'm just like, what daughter says that to the mother? That was so unnecessary, I thought. I mean, I just thought that was disrespectful. Those are not conversations you have with your mother. So, at any rate, let's see what's next. Um, oh, they go back to Kelly, and Kelly's on the phone with Bronwyn, and she says to Bronwyn, I'm not scared of Tamara or Vicky. Look, Kelly, we know you're not scared of Tamara or Vicky, okay? We know you ain't scared, okay? We get that. Then it switches over to 
Bronwyn. Bronwyn has, uh, well, it switches over to the fact that Bronwyn has purchased flowers for Vicky and also a congratulatory card because Vicky did not invite Bronwyn and Kelly to the engagement announcement for obvious reasons. Vicky says she doesn't get, well, obvious reasons for Kelly, but for Bronwyn, she says she doesn't get along with Bronwyn. She says she doesn't have anything in common with Bronwyn. Um, doesn't know her that well. So Bronwyn, I guess she wanted to take the high road because she knew she wasn't invited. So what she did was she sent Vicky flowers. Now that's class. That's class. Okay. Someone tries to shove you. Do something nice for them. Okay. So I like that. I like that part about Bronwyn. And also... It switches over to Tamara and Gina because everyone has arrived somewhere. Um, let me see here. No, okay, before that, let me share this with you. Bronwyn and her husband have rented two Maseratis for the ladies to be escorted from the airport to the hotel. I mean, that's class. That's money right there. I wonder what... I wonder what Sean does for a living. <laughs> Look, but they rented those two Maseratis uh, to take the ladies to the hotel. Beautiful Maseratis. And so they're having a fun, enjoying them, the ride there. And so when they get to the hotel, it switches over to Tamara and Gina out on the balcony. And Tamara says, listen, I don't stand near the banisters because I don't want to be pushed over. And that's kind of true. I'm, I'm with Tamara on that. I will stand on the balcony, but I'm not going to go near the banister. I'm not going to lean on the banister. I'm not going to be playing on the banister and all of those things that people try to do to show that they are willing to take a high risk. That's a risk I'm not going to take uh, because a banister, anything could happen. An accident, you could trip over something, you might step on a bug and jump and fall over. You know, anything could happen. So I'm with Tamara on that. So let's see. Vicky goes to Bronwyn's room to thank her for the flowers and for congratulating her on the engagement. And while she's there thanking her and being very sweet about it, the cameras go back to Vicky in her monologue. And in her monologue, she says, listen, I don't know Bronwyn that well. Um, we don't have anything in common, uh, but if you want to get me presents, hey, I'll take them. And I just kind of thought that was a little bit low down, just slightly, you know. So now the girls get ready. They go to the club. They're all dressed up. They look very beautiful. The hair looks beautiful. Shannon looks really beautiful. I really like the extensions in her hair. However, Kelly doesn't like the extensions in her hair. And Kelly makes a really negative comment about people being over 50 and wearing extensions. We're all wearing extensions, Kelly, and wigs and stuff, okay? So it doesn't matter about your age. Women just like to look good. So Kelly is just really out of line with that comment. So anyway, I disagree with her on that comment. And, I, and and while they're at the club, you know, Tamara, I didn't like the way the women were, were just being at the club, like the way that they were acting. Because these are all, let's see, Tamara's married. Um, Shannon may not be married, but, you know, she's been married and she has daughters. Vicky's getting ready to get married. Bronwyn's married. And, uh, well, Gina is, you know, she has kids, just whatever. They were just kind of out of line in the way I thought the behaviors were at the club for women of a certain stature. I just thought that that was a little bit out of line. They were doing things that girls in high school do, you know, when you don't know any better. So... Let's see what else. Oh, after they left the club, 
Kelly, she had made a couple of comments about people being over 50 and wearing extensions. And finally, when they got back to the hotel, she says it out loud to Shannon. You know, you shouldn't be wearing extensions because you're over 50, you're 55, blah, blah, blah. And Shannon should have really just taken it lightly and ignored it or just said, you know, whatever, <laughs> you know, or said something, you know, more shady back to her. I would have said something more shady. However, Shannon got upset and just almost was in tears and says, just stop it, just stop it right now. I'm, I'm like, really, why would you let Kelly bother you? Kelly is someone who has issues. For real and I know a lot of people love her but I just I think she has issues the first season I kind of liked her a little bit um, but I don't like whenever people women put their hands on other women even men I don't like when people are putting their hands up on each on other people period I digress anyway the next day Sean leaves and uh, he says uh, you know, he and his wife, they kiss goodbye. And she and Bronwyn says that goodbyes are hard for her. Uh, she's okay when he leaves, but goodbyes are hard for her. Which I understand that because I know growing up as a little girl, whenever my cousins would come to visit from overseas or from Rhode Island, we always loved that, right? And then whenever they left, we would be in tears. We were like, oh no, we really love you guys. So, I am going to leave it at that. I just, I, no, I can't leave it at that. I'm sorry. It ends with Kelly is at the bar. She's having a conversation with Bronwyn. Then Tamara and Shannon walk out and they overhear the conversation and they get involved. So there's a little spiff between Kelly and Tamara and, Tam and Kelly says to Tamara, when you lie, you get sued. And oh boy, that got under Tamara's skin real bad, real bad, because this is a serious lawsuit and Kelly really is playing with fire. She really, that's not how you do people. You don't get that deeply into people's lives just because they said you pushed your mom down the stairs. Okay. The rumor has it allegedly that that's true, that she, that did happen. That was out before this episode came out. So I don't know why she's getting upset about things that Tamara really didn't even start. And then she goes and pries into Tamara's business trying to make this lawsuit harder and more difficult for her. Kelly, you are out of line. So completely out of line. And with you putting your hands on everybody the way that you do, it's very easy to believe that you would have done something to your mother. I mean, it's easy for me to believe it. You know, but allegedly that did not happen. So that's how it ends. And uh, so see you next week. Remember to like, meaning give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe and hit the notifications button. See ya. Bye.